Hello. Um. Yeah, I know the last video had me tilted, and yes, I was very tilted in that video. However, I do have a lot of teams that I would like to use. So, instead of Moelo in the past, I'm just going to try out some teams. Um, not necessarily expecting there to be too many um, crazy games. Um, hmm. What Pokemon should be used for a more relaxed game? I think this team is just good for general laddering. It's got some weird sets, but they're like not too unconventional on webs. Uh, Scarf Gold, Webs or Bombi, Roaring Moon, Great Tusk, Iron Val. It's just a fast paced offense team. Um, Max HP Ogre Pond is really good for just like defensive utility. Um, because it just, it's just be living everything. And that's pretty, pretty awesome. I'm um, not too sure when this will be uploaded. I try to record things like a day or two in advance, but I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try, try Minecraft, maybe, possibly. Okay, we have this team. It's a little weird, a little unconventional, so I, I should probably keep my guard up for like random stuff. Um, however, there's no mon that really stops Ribombi from leading off and clicking Moonblast. If it's Scarf, I should still get up my webs, unless it is, um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, Shadow Sneak on Sarah Ledge. Okay, we get a free Miascarada. Go Sarah Ledge, I'm stun sporing that. We get a Sicky Web. And just Psychic noise him down. Make sure they can't heal up. Oh my god, wait. Wait, he can't use Bitter Blade? Holy moly. Holy moly. That's actually really funny. I didn't know that was how it worked. I thought you just didn't get the healing. That's actually insane. Um, as far as what I went got into, Pokemon's fine. It's very hard to punish with this team. Most of the Shadow Sneak doesn't do too much. Maybe Roaring Moon was a little bit better, but I'm I'm very bulky on my uh, Joker Pond. Um, if I Terra Water, I should kill. Um, and Terra Water's not too bad. Terra. Does he opt to Terra? He opts to Terra Steel. Still get a big chunk of damage off. Nice. Um, expecting the ground move to come out now. And as far as how I want to punish that, um, can't kill with Rapid Spin, I don't think. No, Rapid Spin should never kill. Just a cudgel again. Yeah, nice. And got a little greeting, got punished for it. That is the game we play. Um, how do I want to beat this? I think Rowing Moon has the pot um, potential to beat it. Um, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna quake. I am slower, unfortunately. Because of my spread. Goes to Dirge, but I have knockoff. Be knockoffing again. Actually, I'll just, I'm just gonna EQ. In case he goes like King Gambit tries to set up. On the note of King Gambit, I should. Yeah, I should never lose to this thing. I'm just gonna go uh, Goldango and Trick. And that should be the game. Just go into Elon. Elon Grush. That's a, that's a GG. Nice. I t like I said, um, the Ogrepon team's pretty good. Um. Hang on, let me refresh the page just so I can have my win-loss ratio uh, reset so I don't play too many games. Well, not necessarily like too many games, but it's just like I don't want to um, burn myself out. That's kind of the whole thing. Um, you got this goop squad. Um, I will be leading off with the rebombi. As always, there's no hazards or no hazard removal. So having webs up is very nice for either revealing the item or slowing everything down to a crawl. Which is pretty nice considering my team does my team is extremely slow. I sacrifice speed for bulk or yeah, speed for bulk and offense. Um it's cool. Um 
This is just one of the teams that I uncovered. I don't know when I made it, um, but I, I see the ID behind it. Terra Water Ogre Pond um, with the Spadef race is incredibly hard to remove um, and does just so much damage for free. Um, Iron Val, same general concept, gets really, really strong and really hard to remove. Um, he's out with the Ogre Pond, with a Sticky Web, goes for the Ivy Cudgel. Um, Stun Spore, he is immune, so I'm just going to Moonblast, get a little damage off. Goes for the Double Cudgel, Double Cudgel. Um, I'm going to go into Iron Val and click Close Combat. Bait the physical, maybe I can get um, Goldengo in and snipe it with, um, if it's on a balloon especially. Oh my god, it's on a balloon. Um, it's a 50% chance of KO, actually. And it, it could be bulky. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like those odds, actually. I'll just um, click the uh, the Ogre Pond attack. I'll go for it whenever I need to go for it, right? But right now, I just don't need to go for it. Actually, maybe Synthesis is a little bit better. Goes into his Joker Pond. I go for the Ivy Cudgel, kill it. Revealing that I am synthesis, but it, it should be fine. Um, I will be going hard gold dango on the raging bolt. That way, it's forced to um, eternally lock one attack, and no attack that I can lock is good for it. Right, it's it's walled by valor, walled by tusk, and neither are mons that you really would prefer to give turns. Goes out into Dark Rai. Um, I believe that cannot kill me. I believe that has like Sludge Bomb. I will just cudgel. Nice little damage. I should be faster than every available mon. Okay. Trading fairly well. At the very least it's it's a positive trade. Um, I don't think he's going Goldengo. I believe he's probably just going Raging Bolt. In which case, I will go into my old own uh, Goldengo. I believe I can beat Zom with the combination of Roaring Moon and uh, Tusk. Plus, it'll be slow, I think. And if it's not leftovers, then it will just get chipped eternally. Goldengo should never um, die in one. Assuming no chip, but I probably will attain a lot of chip, considering the play that I'm, I'm, I'm about to make. Trick. Should know the danger of letting my Iron Val get a free turn. No, he does not. I'm going to knock off on the gold. Has he teared yet? Might have. I did 61 with knockoff. So he's incredibly physically bulky. I don't want to risk it. Yeah. Exactly. Does Dazzling Gleam kill max HP? It does. Cool. Going into this. Um, and honestly, I might just want to click Terra Fairy Moonblast. There's, uh, I mean, I should be pretty good into the Zom. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 70%. Does that reveal anything about a set? Should reveal that he needs to be max HP, right? Yep. I'll just go hard tusk. No reason not to. He is slower. I'll just chip this down. Go back out into Val. It's kind of just the beginning of the end, right? Maybe. 
Just DD. DD and the Nacro should pick up both of the foes. I am max HP adamant. I should never drop to a Thunderclap. Yep, there we go. Um, I'm feeling about laddering like to either 60 60 or um, 1600 if this team can get that far. Or, um, okay, I'm just gonna expect weird stuff. But every play he makes, I'm gonna assume that it beats my team. Beats the entire squad. He's off with Bramble Gas. I'm going to damage that. Yeah. Just take damage. Goes for the strength stuff, but dies um, immediately afterwards. Um, probably it goes into into Deoxys, right? Yeah. Um, as far as what I would like to do in response, I could Terra Steel. But there's a roll that I died to Psycho Boost anyways. Um, Goldango should never die. Goes for the Psy Shock. Um, I have Shadow Ball to just click. Uh, Make It Rain also kills. I just make it rain. Reveals that I am in fact slower. Goes to the nasty plot and dies. So my guess is that he has just had to, has weird stuff. This guy doesn't seem the greatest. Not to like hate on him, but just to like state a simple observation. I just don't think that um, he is that powerful of a player. I'm gonna go Rebombi and just click Stun Spore. Um, and then probably just trick this with my uh, Goldengo. Neuter it eternally. Ensure that I can only click one attack. Um, shouldn't drop to anything. So I'm just gonna trick it. I, I am expecting, honestly, a possible Terra. No. Okay. Um, he can switch up his attacks, but it's fine. Right, I can just go um, into Ogre Pond afterwards. Right? And just never even have to worry about anything. Terra Water. And just Kudge. No crits. Preferably. Nice, that goes down. Um, I don't see a world where Hisuian's is a UI. Um, sweeps. He does have Terra at his, dis at his uh, disposal, but Ogre Punch is just way too much to his um his two remaining mons. <sighs> I don't know what a Kamala wants to even do. I don't know what a Kamala wants to even do. Goes for the Sucker Punch and dies instantly. Okay, that's what Ogre Punch wanted to, or um, Kamala wanted to do. Sucker Punch and die. I don't see a world where his suing Decidueye even sweeps okay so we can't be scarf nice um i think moon and acro uh moon and knockoff actually have a roll to kill so i'm just gonna go for knockoff just in case and then i'm gonna knock off the ursa luna that way it can never go too out of hand give me terra ghost don't want to risk that go to the drain punch yeah, okay. Forfeits. Nice. We might actually make it to the 1600s again. Um, like, this Ogre Pond is, is really cool. Um, max HP, able to live so much. The the Roaring Moon being bulky is... Like, can catch a lot of people off guard. It's very physically bulky. You can live, like, Great Tusk, Ice Spinner, um, Terra Ice. I've lived some of those. Um, Terra Ghost, you're just not dropping to any attack that will be aimed into a, like, a standard Roaring Moon. It's very nice. Like, this is one of, like, the more min-maxed mons. It's almost... It almost has the same stats as, like... I hate comparing mons to legendaries. But it, it is very close to having the exact same stat spread as... A stun spore. It's very close to having the exact same stat spread as... Um, Coridon, and it's, it, it's, it's really close. This thing's better now. 
That's fine. I have I have spin. And I will be spinning next turn. Wasn't the Val. Are you gonna encore that? No. He has knockoff though. Knockoff is his response. Um I can go headlong rush and just start long head rushing. Um I don't wanna get caught off guard by uh Man. Oh no, I I was about to say let me see his spread, but I, I literally have no way to tell. Um Gold should never drop unless he's Terra Dark. Um is um Ivy Cudgeler good? Ivy Cudgel guy is good. Um However, I might just want to go Tusk. No. Tusk is like okay mid game go gold just click uh, make it rain hope that he doesn't uh, opt to terra opt to terra steel actually that's a little scary but i should be fine with tusk against sd right right a valve should never die tusk never dies um, is removing webs good for me? Good for, like, later Ogre Pond. Like, I'm just trying to think. Would I... Like, is removing webs, like, so valuable that I will risk throwing the game? I mean, webs can come off another time, right? Uh... Yeah, just Ember Flare. No crits. Thank you. Uh, do I just play with webs up? I think I just have to play with webs up. Uh, that's frustrating. Could just opt to go ogre pawn, alternatively, but uh, I could I could spin into Cinderace. I'll go Jog. Just synthesis. Heal off all the damage. On the potential raging bull. I could double alternatively. Oh, that's annoying. I think I lose. Dude, are you kidding me? All I needed was a synthesis. Uh, frustrating, but happens. Terra Ghost and go for the acro. I do actually live just raw ice beam. Hmm. I'll keep my Terra around. Nice. That's that max HP coming into play. Again, this thing that just has so many stats. Like, running max HP doesn't feel like I'm sacrificing all that much. Especially into this specific team. Close into the moon. I will lose this P-Tie. Oh my god. Oh my god, what? Oh wait. Never mind. Never mind. I just completely blinked as to what was going on. Um, yeah, I lose. I, I'm pretty sure it's like guaranteed as well. Yeah, there is there is zero hope, zero zero hope, zero cope, zero none of, nothing and nothing. Is there a way for me to bring him into rapid spin range? Hmm. All right. Well, this is my this is my this is my play. This is my play. The game should end here, but oh my god, I think I won. No, nope, I lost. Okay. Like, I, I think I only win if, like, no, I don't, I, 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 I die, I die. It's four games. Probably gonna get, like, three more. Like, this team is, this team is cool. It has, 
really, really big potential. Yeah, I'm just moon blasting the uh, Weavile. Goes for a triple axle, Terra off rip. Um, so that happened. We'll be going Goldengo. Just shadow balling. I expect him to, to, uh, if he goes ace, I can just go like tusk, right? It's not the end of the world. I don't, I just don't want to make reads like this low on the ladder. I could have to a KO'd the Cinderace, but like, just make, like making reads this low is just not a good play. I will be rapid spinning, however. Oh my God, dude, there's, they're all Will-O-Wisp. They're all Will-O-Wisp. Stop being wisp, please. Please. At least I do like half to literally every single mod on the opposing side of the field. So I, I will be trading positively. Oh, I have Temper Flare, my friend. I have Temper Flare. Um, as to what I want to go into now. Maybe Roaring Mid. No, that doesn't... Nah. Joker Pond? Maybe. And then he goes Raging Bolt. And then what, right? That's the question. That's always the question. Uh, I'm just gonna go Gold. He's expended his Terra, so that's at least nice. He shouldn't be... Oh, he could be... No, he's not Scarf. He's literally... He literally is not Scarf. I saw the Balloon Pop. I will be surfing on your team. Goes Prim. I get this Bedef drop, actually. That's pretty huge. Um, Which makes me want to go for Shadow Ball just again. Nah, I'll just go Ogre Pond. Um, Dr. Power Whipple. Um, come to give you a visit. Big damage. Big damage. Hmm. I want Ogre Pond. Do I want? Do I need Ogre Pond around? It's good as a stopgap versus the Weavile. Like I'm like Terra Water, but like I'm feeling like my end game is just gonna be Terra Ghost, the Goldengo, and just just sweep. Cudgel. I should live this attack. Um, I anticipate him to Thunderclap. Maybe. Maybe. Nice. Nice. The meta of random Terra's winning. My favorite. My my absolute favorite. Oh wait, wait, wait. Power up is actually mad strong. Power up is insanely strong. Revile dies instantly. Incredible. Oh wow, I didn't even realize that this set is outsped by uh by Rillaboom just at base. It's a little suspicious. A little suspect. Um, let me see that damage. Is that banded Rillaboom damage? Um, 78, that is within the banded range. And he has, he has to be banded. Um, so I believe I can just go into my Roaring Moon, Dragon Dance a singular time, and just blow up his entire team. Because if I don't kill Primarina, it, it'll be so weak that Goldingo can just go for the, uh, the, uh, the, the sweep in the end. I could alternatively tear a ghost, but I, th I feel like I'd be too low. All right, if this doesn't kill, it doesn't kill. Okay, and we win. Nice. GG. Um, I, th I feel like I'm, like, two or three games away from being 1600, so I'll play two or three more games. If I lose one, it happens. It's, it's not the end of the world, right? Um, just just gotta play again. Like, 1500s isn't... Or, wait, am I in the... 15 to 1600s? I cannot remember. But the 1500s is not, like, terrible for um, content. There's still, like, decent players. I think it'd be fun to have, like, some top 500 content later... But like right now, I don't I don't think that top five hundred is necessary. Um I'm going to 
to spin into removal. I'm okay with rocks being up. Actually, this can give him they make, make him make a, a decision. Sixteen seventy three. Hmm. 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 Perhaps leading Rebombi would have been a more optimal play. You'll never know. You'll never know. Sixteen seventy three. So if I lose, it's not like the end of the world. He is much higher rated than me. However, like. The annoying bit is like, my main is like 1800. So like, I, it just feels defeating losing to people this low, you know? Like I'm not calling these like people, I'm not saying like, like I feel like completely superior. It's just like, I don't know. I guess the best analogy I can say is like sports, right? If, if you're playing like for a college league, it would feel awful to lose to a, uh, um, just a high school league. Oh, it's that set. Of course I go out onto the worst possible mon. Going for the DD. He does not know. He should assume that I'm, uh, that I'm max speed. For no other reason except why, why, why wouldn't you be? So I don't know what he would go into as a response. Probably Zamazenta. The early Terra is wacky. Bop that to death. Which means I will be expending a Terra on Tusk if that means that I can uh, rapid spin. Huh? Huh? I I will be quaking. Okay, you should just sack rolling moon, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, I previously stated that I'm okay with sacking, um, my entire tusk if it means that I can spend. So I will be sacking my, my Tusk's Terra to spin. Terra into a fire type, just get the, get the spin off. He should have no reason to switch out. And if he switch out, switches out, then I, I have a Temper Flare aimed as Goldengo. Right, I just think that Webs later have, has so much potential, especially since, since he can't, like, Terra. Okay, doesn't switch. All right, I'm, I'm gonna Elon, Elon rush. Um, so now here's the thing. If I hit Stun Spore, th then I get to defeat the, then I get to get up webs and then defeat the Val in, in the following turn. I'm gonna hit Stun Spore. Told you, told you. Imagine he is Shadow Sneak. Nice. So we don't even have to like choose. And I am Life Orb Val. I, I will I will be claiming your team. I will be claiming their taxes and all the benefits with them. Imagine he's boots. He probably shouldn't be, but imagine he was. Going gold. There's no reason for me to um, not to. Close combat should kill, but it doesn't always kill, and that's my problem with it. I'll be shadow balling because now close combat will kill. Okay, yeah, that's unfortunate. But but, twenty five still does half. Now I'm scarf goldengo. That should be a jeej. Should be jeej. Scarf Gold into his team. Not many Mons 
to defeat it. I have Val with a Choice Scarf. I can always break the sub. Um, I don't see a, a possible way. I don't see an out. His Goldengo is confirmed not on a Balloon. Could be Scarf, but I would be faster with a Scarf. Still. Crunch isn't even a, a guaranteed KO. Or, sorry. Crunch isn't a KO. That's not beating me. That's not beating me. Iron Defense Rust. Again, not, not beating me. Worst case is Goldingo Scarf and has to um, kill my Val, but then Max HP Ogre Pun will hit the Gritty on his entire squad. Or his entire squad, the, the remainder of the squad. That's the nice thing about Max HP Ogre Pun. It always feels like it'll never lose to something. Straight up. I got a Spit F drop as well, which just solidifies it even further. Minus Speed should be not, no way to lose. No way to lose. Right, just simple, simple Moonblast. Knock out the, the big dog. The the 660 base stat total Zamazenta. And 4Y. 4Y do you get so many stats? Why could you share with the common folk? I mean, think about, think about Furret, right? Furret has no stats. Let's actually see. Data, data Furret. I actually do not know how to spell Furret's name. I have a Furret plush. Four, four fifteen. Zombazenta can afford to give a couple stats. Knock off kills. Sweet. Yep, it is Scarf. Um, but oh, one more game. Um, okay, I'll do. I'll get one more. Um, if I lose, I lose. Right? It happens. And I, I, I'm okay if that happens. Lead scissor. Miss Stun Spore. Amazing. Oh, I'm I'm slower than Bullet Punch. I for, I completely forgot. I completely blanked. For some reason. There, there's no reason that I should have blinked, but I, I just did. I can go Ogre Pond and just tear a water and kill it, right? Yes. Should. Should. I can also go Break Tusk and Temper Flare. Um, is Terra Fire Temper Flare technically the better play? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say no because I don't want to Terra Fire Temper Flare. Just Temper Flare and kill it. Rolls into a Dragoonite. I'll be doing a lot of damage. Goes for the Outrage. According to this, Rapid Spin kills, but I don't trust that. I will be claiming two Mons at least for the price of one. Rolls into a Seru Ledge. Tears into a Grass type. I have Ogre Pond in the back. Um, I also have Roaring Moon to assist. He's at neutral speed, so... He's at no speed boost, sorry. So, I don't see a way that you stop Roaring Moon. I'll be acroing. <sighs> Should be a, a fairly convincing win. I think. I think. Goes into Big Limb. I'll just be quaking. Okay, nice. He isn't even um, the thing. So this should just kill both mons, right? There we go. Nice. Nice. We are two points away from my goal. Um, I'm not going to tilt myself. Um, today, I wanted to get to the, to the 1600s. I just wanted to climb the ladder with this fairly solid Ogre Pond team. Nothing too phenomenal about the team. Nothing too crazy. The, it matches the energy today. I just wanted to get some good games with a, a team that I, I feel has potential because its fundamental isn't built off of a, a gimmick mon, right? 
Um, the problem is some of my other teams that I've been losing with, um, like the Hisuian Zoroark or Umbreon, is that these are not OU mons, these are gimmicks. And in most scenarios, you're playing down a mon. And so if you want to win, the core has to be so good, so solid, that if the mon doesn't do its specific role, you're still fine. And that's just not the case um, with some of these teams. I'm just not good at building five mon teams. I, I Whenever I build, I it's with the idea that this mon will always do this one specific job. And if it doesn't, then I won't beat the mon. Um, it's a little different with like Umbreon, right? And Asuya and Zoroark. Um, like Umbreon's role... The idea, it doesn't have a specific role, a specific role, which is why I struggled using it. Um, it's kind of just there for Roar Spam, which, I mean, Roar Spam's good, but you have to have a, a very hyper-specific reason why you're going to Roar Spam, or what are you Roar Spamming for? Is it just progress? Why? And I couldn't really answer that, that question with the team. But this team that I use today is fairly solid. I have, I have more solid teams coming up um, that aren't using, like, too many gimmick mons. Um, I have a... I think this Gardevoir team is actually, like, fairly strong. The idea is that this team is weaker into Rain, and Gardevoir just demolishes Rain because of Trace. Trace, you get the speed boost, and you just start blowing everything up with Terra Psychic. Rain generally doesn't have good responses into Gardevoir, and the space that Gardevoir can generate is good enough. Um... Before I use it, I probably would want to make wouldn't would want to just make this Terra Water. I think water is generally more consistent, especially since Kiram got banned. Like Gliscor stocks are just going to be through the roof right now, because you can't get hit it with the um, the double bind where you're just like clicking freeze dry and like they can Terra, but they're still going to take like 80 percent. Um, yeah. Um, also I think Ogre Punch stocks are are way up right now. Um, it was pretty down because of, again, Kyurem, it just one-shots you with your, with its, um, ice attack. And even if you, like, Terra, you're still taking a lot, plus you're risking freeze and stuff. It just... Ugh, sorry. If you're letting Kyurem click moves into you, you're gonna probably have a bad time. But, um, now that Kyurem's gone, I don't know when Kyurem will be officially banned. Um, so some of these teams, like this Talonflame stall team, I don't think I'll ever be able to use it again. Yeah, Kyurem. Or not ever again, but I just don't, I don't think that I'll be able to use it. Which, I think Kyurem is actually a weaker member of the team. I don't know what I'll swap it out with, I'll just do that, you know, in between. Um, I don't actually have any other teams with Kyurem, but they're all built with Kyurem in mind. But that's fine, because the meta's currently, like, a little unstable, because of, like, generally that's how bands go, right? Your techs that beat the one mon uh, die out for more st uh, solid sets. Like the um, the bulky air balloon Goldango set is definitely going to fall out of favor. Um, in favor of just more like offensive damaging sets, I think. Like it's still going to be good defensively, but I think like the number one Goldango set is probably going to go back to like Choice Scar for like the offensive nasty plot um, as opposed to what it used to be. Anyways, um, that is the video. Um, Ogre Pond is cool, my favorite. Um, epic trans icon. Thank you, Ogre Pond, for establishing trans rights. Um, thank you for watching. Um, go enjoy the rest of your day. Um, this th this team will be in the description. It is just solid if you want to use it. Um, Rabombi is a like a flex slot. I use Rabombi because um, my philosophy around building the team is that I'll sa I'll sacrifice speed for um, bulk and damage like in the case of Iron Valiant, or the case of like the Adamant Roaring Moon. Um, so it does need, like you need a ways to shore up the speed. Otherwise you will get blown over, which is why having Rebombi webs is just so good. There isn't a, um, a sticky web user that's immune to um, Mortal Spin, is there? Um, no, there is not. I was about to say, if there is one, then that would probably be my option, but there's none. So, Ugh. Ah. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, just use Rabombi. Or if you're gonna swap it out for a hazard to lead, I would recommend like making this Roaring Moon speed. Probably making this speed booster Iron Val, because this team does need these these speed. Maybe Boots Tusk as well. Um not too sure. 
yeah, um, I, I will be signing off now. Goodbye.